All right, Henry, this is for you. This is wind turbine number two. We're going to uh, release the contactor and let it spin out of control for you. The wind is kind of kicking in and out, so it's we're not in a strong wind condition where it'll just take up and ramp up and accelerate rapidly. So it's likely that only one tip will come out because it'll speed up slowly. So it may not even speed up at all. We'll see. Yeah. There you go. All right. We release the contact. All right, now you can hear it speed up. Read out the RPM, Rory, would you? There you go. Two blades came out. Yeah, it was about 2012. 2012 RPM. It's down to 1600. Now it's 14. down to 1600. 13. And we had what? Two of the three come. No, we had all. No, we had two of the three come out. Okay, Rory, do you want to yaw it 90 degrees out of the wind and a little like I won't be embarrassed and the tips will go in. We had uh, some issues with the forces, you know, with them deploying faster than 2,000 RPM on the high-speed shaft side, to where the forces would put a torque on the tips where even that won't get it to line up right, even though everything was, uh, I guess, configured properly. But we think we've got that resolved. tips kind of start to go back in, come out, if you have a gust come up, and what's kind of nice about it is, is it governs itself, if it speeds up more, they come up more, if it slows up, they go in, okay, it looks like they're going in, we got one out a little bit yet there. So we're gonna turn it on. What was the speed on that one? Went back. In? About 980. Okay, about 980. So it's in that realm. So Henry, I guess I fortunately it worked as I uh, described it in the uh, email to you. Anyway, hope all is well with you guys.